that has won the toss at the highest level, world level. Belgium have not fared very well. They've only taken one set in four previous encounters. That was in the first match that they ever played at this level, the 2014 World Grand Prix. They've lost three in a row since, including the three that reverse in last year's VNL, where they only scored 47 points. Although uh, Tagra Belna, who's playing today, top scored in that match. She got 18 of her country's 47 points. But they were uh, a distant second best. Here is that Belgian squad, noticeably a very, very young team. Grabolska at 27 is the senior citizen, and Aviva the skipper at 26, but most of this squad 22 or under. Some really good, talented young players starting to develop in Belgium. It'll be interesting to see where they go in the next three to five years. There's a definite upswing under the veteran coach Gert van der Broek, and uh, one of their Developing players is Silke van Avermaet, a 19-year-old middle blocker who came off the bench and brought real energy in that losing effort against Korea. A strong blocker who can also spike as well. I'm talking about young middle blockers, Marlies Janssens. She's proved to be a good all-rounder already. She can deliver ace, ace serves. She can come up with blocks as well. And her duel at the net against the formidable Chinese front court will be very interesting indeed. Already mentioned Yuan Jinyue, the middle blocker, one of the best in the world, one of the many 2016 Rio Gold Olympians in this squad for China. Of the 14-8, one gold. It's an interesting blend of veterans and youth that Lang Ping is uh, shuffling together. Very, very solid. You can find a weak link in this Chinese team. Good luck. Very accomplished. And indeed, nine of them were gold medal winners in the 2015 World Cup. It's a season proven group. And the uh, return of Yan Jinwei almost seemed unfair to be able to just plug her back in. Uh, talking of players making a development move, Zhang Chang Ning is another one of those, just 22, starting to. Uh, come into very good form indeed in her own right. And, uh, three blocks out of seven attempts yesterday against Thailand will attest to her power as a defensive player. They really do have some formidable blockers. And if Belgium are going to prevail at the net, they will have to be near flawless. Their service reception is going to have to be really good. They will have to put Ilka van der Viva in good positions, the setter so that she can open up a full array of weapons to try and stretch this Chinese defense. Kai Grabelna will certainly be hoping for another productive day against China, as she had last year in VNL action, albeit in a losing effort. She was pretty much the only source of points that uh, Jenny Langping had to worry about. Langping has had the game face on. She didn't travel to Brazil. Most of these players didn't travel to Brazil. But here, they're at home and they're looking comfortable. And Gert van der Broek, the veteran, highly respected Belgian coach, knows that his squad could be outgunned and overwhelmed in this one. I don't think he'll have any expectation that the Belgians can spring a huge shock here, but he will be looking for a performance from this young team. One of those growing experiences, and he'll be hoping that they can improve on what they managed a year ago when they amassed just 47 points. Any improvement on that will show that uh, China are still on an upward swing in their curve. But the big question is how much will we see of Zhu Ting, the superstar of women's volleyball? Just a little cameo yesterday. That was all that was needed as they're easing her back in gently. And it's easier said than done, of course, but these Belgians cannot look over the other side of the net and go, oh boy, we're in trouble here. Our first referee is from Japan, Sumie Miyoi. So she'll be uh, climbing the ladder. On the near side is Tagrid Katab. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Frey Team's national anthem. Now, the national anthem of Belgium, Zhao Beilisi Koko.
And now, the national anthem of China, Zhao Zhong Da Ga Ga. The pre-game handshakes then. And then this one will be underway as ever in the VNL. Best of five sets. The Belgian players looking to uh, try and get the crowd on their side by uh, throwing some favours into the crowd. I don't think anyone's particularly anti the Belgian, but uh, the majority of these fans obviously hoping for a China win and a chance to glimpse some of the superstars of world women's volleyball. But as always, it's not about what the experts think. It's not about how they shape up on paper. It's what happens when they get down to business that determines the outcome of sporting contest. Belgium will be looking to keep it close, play it tight. They are slow starters. Never got going at all yesterday, it has to be said, against Korea as we meet the starting lineup. No changes expected for the Belgians, so Britt Herbots will lead the way out. Celine Van Gestel, the 21 year old Herbots, still a teenager. Kaya Grabelna, who is uh, the peak form, 24 years old. Marlies Janssen's coming through as well. We really talked about her. Just 21 years old, and it is significant just how young this Belgian squad is. Ilka van der Viva is the captain, not quite the senior player at 26. And it's going to be uh, Jody Guillaume's, the Libero. Both Liberos had big problems for Belgium in the game against Korea yesterday, and uh, that's one area that uh, Gert van der Broek will be concerned about. Doesn't look too concerned at the moment, does he? I don't think there's any pressure on him. There is no expectation that Belgium are going to run China close, but he'll be hoping they can avoid the slow start that uh, has been a feature of all their matches in the VNL so far this season. Anyway, here's the Chinese starting lineup. Cover your eyes if you're a Belgium fan. Yuanyin Jinyue, Gong Zhang Yu, Zhang Chang Ning. Li Ying Ying coming through here as well, and she's followed by Ding Jia, the setter, and uh, Yan Ni, the veteran middle blocker, waiting for her introduction right at the back there, number 17. Here she comes. No changes for Jenny Lang Ping. Uh, we would expect the Libero to be Wang Mengji as well, just to complete. The starters. There it is. There's confirmation. The Lang Ping sending out a formidable starting rotation. What a career, not only as a coach, but also as a player. If something's worth winning, she's won it. So a bronze medal from the inaugural VNL from a year ago. China will be going for gold this time as we look at the Belgian starting lineup. There's confirmation, no changes. That's been the squad that uh, Gert van der Broek has stuck with throughout the competition. First in Bulgaria, now here in Macau and for China. Their revamped squad, but it's the same six starters as beat Thailand yesterday. So no shooting in the starting lineup. She may be given a little run out as she was against Thailand. And that will be keenly anticipated by these fans. Well, there's no pressure on the Belgians, that's for sure. 
But uh, the old maxim of go out, relax and enjoy yourself. That's tough to do when you're up against the reigning Olympic champions. Marlies Janssens, a decent server, will get this five-setter underway. Picked up by Wang. And an early point for the Chinese. The serving from Belgium is going to have to be good. It is going to have to keep China on the back foot if they're comfortable on service reception. You really don't have any chance. Yan Di, the veteran. The block was in place immediately. Belgium came into this one knowing they were going to be in trouble there. And Zhang Chang Ning has let them know exactly how big a problem it's going to be. Yuan right next to her as well. That is a formidable blocking combo. Yan then will stay on serve. Hung up by Herberts. Herberts will swing through this one. Picked up mid-court nicely by Yan. Pipe attack comes in and is blocked out of it. That was Yuan. Jin Yue. Two stuff blocks already. And we've only had three points in. The worst possible start, this, for the Belgians. Getting absolutely battered at the net early. Yan then will stay in serve, and the uh, service reception's getting a bit ragged. They're under so much pressure already. Did that drop in? Yes. Well, they're out of luck there, the Belgians. And already, Gert van der Brugge has had to burn a timeout as his under-pressure squad is unravelling early here. This is Chinese ruthlessness on display, dominating the net. Some might say it's early to take a timeout. Others would argue, just settle everybody down before this gets really ugly. Gert van der Broek had seen enough. Yan Ni is going to have to keep that serving arm swinging. The way her teammates in front of her are blocking, she could be there for a while. And uh, Van Gestel was reaching for that, all sorts of problems with the set. Kept alive by Van Gestel. Herberts can't beat Jan. Here comes the pipe attack. Well, this is much better resilience from the Belgians. Can they open their account on this rally? No, they can't. Yuan Xin Yue. It's as if they were toying with Belgium there, China. Just stretching them, pulling them one way, dragging them another, then putting them out of their misery. Really good rally, though. Much more competitive from the Belgians. But still no end product. Li Ying Ying. Van Gestel keeping it alive somehow. But once Yan took that ball as high as she did, only one outcome. Good serving practice, this, for Yan Ni. Much better service reception again, and the attack is repelled yet again. Yuan along with Yang. Nice pancake there from Li Ying Ying. And the job finished by Zhang Chang Ning. You can't even say Belgium are playing badly. China are playing at a very high level indeed on this point. This is flawless volleyball, it really is. Finally, Belgium are on the board. Yan with the net. But you cannot surely give China a six-point start and expect a set to be competitive. Ilka van der Viva, as fired up as and as motivational a skipper as you'll find in the game. Up to serve, decent serve as well. Zhang manages to pick it up. The pipe attack comes in, it's brutal, it's lethal. Li Ying Ying driving that in deep. A 
that's Anna Valkeborg. Lee Libero with the despairing dive. Gong Zhang Yu. Picked up by Guillaume's the other Libero. Both Liberos will be getting a lot of work today. That's a nicely claimed point there. Kaya Grobelna, the Polish-born Belgian. Who had such a good personal game when these two met a year ago in the VNL. With her first point of this, comp of, of this match. Britt Herbert's the top scorer for Belgium. 68 points through four matches with a good serve. Brilliantly picked up by Wang and talking about good pickups. What about that one from Valkenborg? And the point is awarded to the Belgians. Another good serve. Running attack repelled. Belgium starting to come into this a little bit. Nicely picked up by Valkenburg and blocked out of it again by Jan Jinyue. Celine van Gestel swung through that one, but Yuan just dominated at the net. Oh. How can you defend that? How can you get through a defense like that, should I say? A sizzling start then from the reigning Olympic champions. And Belgium's yellow tigers are being tamed early here. Here's Zhang Changning with serve. Herbots picks that one up. Herbots will go for the pipe attack. The block is there yet again. Herbots, rather, uh, Grabelna swinging through that one. No control on the uh, dig from Wang. Point Belgium. Short that one up for Kaya Grabelna. Sobolska with serve, serving Lee. Oh, here's a chance for a point on the Belgian serve. <laughs> and then Yuan Jinyue says, uh uh, not happening. Not happening. She may have four block points already. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's incredible. This is dominance. Five block points in the match for China already. Four of them from Yuan. Good serve as well. Herberts handles that. Grabelna drives it deep. If there's one thing Yuan Jinhui can't do particularly well, it's pick up a dig from a bootstraps. So you might as well aim at the feet. She can do a lot, but she's not one of the great backcourt diggers. Tactically, they got it absolutely right there. Grabelna will serve, serves Lee. He'll go far side and Gong has uh, misfired. And Belgium close it up a little bit more. Still early in this set as well. As Belgium try to make the adjustments. That's not a particularly good service pickup either from Lee. Oh dear, that was a chance. Those are the kind of points Belgium have to have. As the service reception from Lee was just dreadful. But Janssen's has misfired and that really is just a, a look at that Chinese block has made a net. Service reception not great. Van Gestel with not much of a play there. 
all sorts of options for China. And they take the easy one. Gong just drops it into no man's land. China. Clever. The attempted pancake from Van de Viva. In vain. So Gong Zheng Yu will serve. The running attack doesn't work. Janssens didn't get a lot on that. Lee blocked out of it. Lee will have another go. Blocked out of it again, but it drops out. Good effort from Janssens and Van der Viva there. But in vain. Ding Xia, the setter. Up next. Oh, Herbert says uh, not done particularly well there. She'll just have to hoist and hope here. Ding with all kinds of options. Well, this is really good rear guard work here. Guillaume's on third touch, just sends it up. Here they come again, and clever from Gong. It's cruel. It really is. All that great defensive work from the Belgians. And Gong just finds that gap behind the blockers yet again. Done it once. That was a brilliant dig from Guillaume's, and then Gong just steering it past and over the block, dropping it into that gap. So clever. Ding Xia then will continue with serve. Here comes Herbert, who had to adjust. That's taken all the momentum away. The initiative switches. Herbert picks that one up back court brilliantly. Van Gestel. Scrubs off the block. The block has done enough to keep it in play. And Yan Ni comes along and says, my turn to join the party. Well, Belgium's little revival looks like it's run out of steam here. They're in a world of trouble. Yeah, that drifted. Well, it's Dominika Strumilo getting thrown in here. Oh, dear, oh dear. This is by the numbers stuff from the Chinese. If that serve doesn't ask any questions, it's three touches and bang, you're done. It's coming straight back at you. Lee with serve. Herberts puts it up high. Driven down the line and Wang picks it up though. And then driven down the line the other way. Zhang Chang Ning. And we are at the second technical timeout with the Belgians battered and bedraggled already. Nothing much wrong with that from Janssens, but what a pickup from Wang. Well, we knew that Yuan Xinyue would cause problems with her blocking, and nobody surely expected her to pick up four block points as early as she did. Uh, the Belgians have since realized if number one is anywhere near the block, put it somewhere else, don't take her on. Lee with serve. Janssen's clever. Nice reverse set. And a nice put away by Marlies Janssen's. 
Slip around the backside, didn't try to power it through. Janssen's is a source of aces, potentially. But Wang has picked that one up nicely. And then it's just driven straight down the middle by Zhang Chang Ning. Found a nice little crease there in the Belgian defences. Bisecting Janssen's and Grabelna in the backcourt. So Yan Ni back to serve. Second touch does not work. Right idea. Just couldn't execute. Van der Viva keeps it alive and then it dies on the far side. Herbert's scrambling in vain. Herbert's Belgium's leading scorer going into this one. Yet to register a point. She's been primarily restricted to scrambling around duties. That's not what you want your top scorer doing, but such is the array, array of weaponry that China are unveiling here that Herbert's, like everybody else, is in full defensive mode. Getting targeted on serve as well. Can she get a first point? No, she can't. Might get another go at this. They take it down the middle. And that's nicely taken. Sapolska. Van der Viva then. It's a much better serve. Mishandled by Zhang. That's a bit more like it. Well, Van der Viva can't make it. Two out of two. Once again, Herbert's on receiving duty. That's a really nice take. Cross court, Kyra Belna found a big gap, placed it perfectly. That might be the best kill of the uh, set. Here's Herbert's with that high ball toss. Really went after that. Very aggressive. Can't blame her for that. Got to go aggressive. We've already seen what soft, safe serves get against China. They get smashed back. Oh, ho, ho, well, Jody Guillaumes will say, I'll take that, thank you very much. <laughs> it was a fluke. Well, when you're trailing, well, this kind of margin, you'll take anything you can get. And uh, a nice block far side there. Well, well, well. Surely it's come too late. But uh, a morale-boosting block point there for Dominika Stromilo, who has... Uh, been very sparingly used in the VNL up until this. It's picked up by Janssens. Oh, Wang has made a meal of that. Stays alive. Up until now, the block too good again. How many times are they going to run into China's big number one, Yuan Jinyue? That's a battle you just cannot win. And Stromilo finding that out. Belgium will just be relieved to see her serving. Keep her away from that net. Ooh. Plenty of net called there. Stromilo. Nope. Oh, yes. Rebelna 
Oh, that's a complete mess there from Lee. And she almost was able to atone. Van der Borg with a great pickup. A pipe attack from Herbert's repelled absolutely brilliantly. And then too good from Gong. Well, they recovered so well there, China, after the uh, dreadful service reception. What a pickup backcourt from Zhang defensively for China. Britt Herberts couldn't have put much more into that. But Zhang was there. Grabelna denied this time. And then Stramilo once again getting the important touch. So she's enjoying an extended workout here in this first set. Tremendous backcourt defense. Ding with an absolutely wonderful dig. As Carolina Goliath checks into the lineup. Well, at least they put a bit of respectability on the uh, scoreline here. Stramilo will serve. Picked up three points since coming on. It's a very useful contribution. That's a decent serve as well. And then put away off the quick set. Yan Ni. You're not stopping that. Not sure the Belgians even had a chance to set a block for that. So effective was it, yeah. Nowhere near Marley's Janssen's. This time it's Dominika Stramilo blocked out of it. Yan Ni helping herself. And when you look at the uh, stats at the end of this set, so many block points. You won with five on her own. At least two more can be added to that tally. This is one of those, I've got a timeout, I might as well use it moments for Gerrit van der Broek. <laughs> Lang Ping has not been forced into taking a timeout. But when you look at the way this set started, there was a chance that the Belgians were really going to be embarrassed here. They've uh, staved that off. But nevertheless, it's the Chinese serving for this first set. Herbert's denied. No points at all for Belgium's top scorer until that moment. That's been a long time coming. Herbert sticking with it. Janssen's, boy, how she'd like an ace or two, not going to get one. Yeah, that'll do it. Gong Zhang Yu with the final act of the first set that showed China at their brilliant best. They relaxed a little bit, or maybe we should say that Belgium recovered, got a bit of equilibrium. But uh, never was this looking competitive, not with the start that the Chinese made. Strong defence in the backcourt, outstanding blocking and ruthlessness with their kills. China just too good in every phase of the game in that first set, winning it comfortably by nine points. 25-16, first blood, China.
So that's how the first set was won. This is the uh, spike contact points for China. And they are sending an awful lot straight down the gut in sharp contrast. Everything going to the left there. But no matter which way you look at it, no matter what you look at, it was too easy for the Chinese. Belgium always slow starters. Now, when we saw China playing Thailand yesterday, it was the Thais who started well before fading away. The Belgium will be thinking, well, we can actually maybe pick up a bit of traction here. Maybe make the next set competitive. If China get complacent, Belgium are the kind of team, the way they're built, that they could capitalize. What Belgium cannot afford to do is toss away a six-point lead at the start, as they did in that first set. It was over right there. Set two underway, then. With Li Yingying serving. A little push there doesn't quite work from Sobolska. Jewels at the net are always going to favor China, and Zhang Changning comes up on top of that one. Wang continues to do really good scurrying, picking up all the crumbs. Herbots continues to be the target. And uh, she comes out on top of that one. We'll pick up only her second point at the match. The first point came right at the end of the first set. The second one comes right at the beginning of the second set. So if they can get Herberts involved as an offensive weapon, that will help their cause hugely. Here is the teenager with serve. Really goes for those serves. Wang has picked that one up somehow. And a duel at the net that they don't win, the Chinese, or do they? That's got to be good. And it is. That was uh, a really big cross-court swing there. And uh, even Li Yingying couldn't get that under control. Now, these are the duels where you favour China, but not on that occasion. And then Kaya Grobelna says, I've had enough of this. Top scoring for Belgium, as she did when they met a year ago, these two teams. Oh, better backcourt work again at the block. Brutal. Absolutely devastating. Yet another block point. That may well have been Zhang Chang Ning getting all of that. Indeed it was. Grabelna denied. Little touch there from Yuan. They pick that up. No real play on it, though, the Belgians. They fake one way. And then a net cord from Zhang sends it out of play. Well, it's very early, obviously, but at least the Belgians will be thinking, well, we're right in this second set. Unlike the first set, which just got away from them in the first six points here. They've got a good chance of being level and possibly even taking a lead. If they can get something out of this, Grabelna, that's good. That's really good. It was pure power from Kaya Grabelna. Put everything into that. So no control on the dig. Well, that's more like it for the Belgians. A very small lead to protect as Dominika Sobolska will serve at 4 2. Oh my goodness! Grabelna with a block point there. And she had a teammate alongside her as well, Janssens. That's big. Really big point there from Grabelna. Back to back, one offensive, one defensive point from Dominika Sobolska. And the Belgians are right in this now. 5-2 they lead. Brilliant defensive work again, and they're really giving everything into it. Herbots with the first effort. Van der Beaver not giving up a lost cause, and I'll tell you what, 
this Macau crowd really warming to the fact that the Belgians don't know what a lost cause is. There's no quit in these Belgians, that's for sure. Gong Zhang Yu serving 3-5. Herbots not ideal. Grabelna with a lot of work to do here. Oh, ho, ho. she's found an angle there. The Chinese don't like the call at all. Oh, they're going to have a look at Lang Ping and say, well, look, let's challenge it. The call from the chair is good. Did it catch any part of the line? And the response from all the players was immediate. They wanted the challenge. Any part of the circumference of the ball covers any part of the line. That's it. Lang Ping's not going to wait. She's just going to fine-tune this right here. Now, has it caught any of the line? No, good call. Again, Herbert's on service reception. Good pick up there from Lee back court. Not too much heat from Gong. And the Chinese wipe out that three point deficit. Stramilo really caught between a rock and a hard place there. So four points in a row. And a timeout called by Gert van der Broek to just stem the tide. They've got to take a lot of positives out of the way this second set has started, though. Don't dwell on the fact that they've just shipped four points in a row. Uh, van der Broek has got to be telling his team, you're in this. Zhang Yu will continue. One of uh, those eight Olympic gold medalists overpass. But contact at the net meets Belgium point. Uh, the Belgians get away with one there. Back on terms. Around the back side, Yuan Jin Yue gobbles those up. Did she even get off the floor? Yes. Probably didn't need to, to get a winner out of that. Zhang with serve then. Herbert's again the target. The running attack comes the other way. Marlies Janssen showing fleetness of foot. All about timing and execution, the running attack. That is how you dial it up. Strumelo then with serve, just overcooked it slightly. It's better serving though. The Belgians have learned the lesson that if you're going to play it safe with the serving, you're going to get smashed. It's China that get to the first technical timeout. 8-7 to the good. Much more competitive second set. <laughs> 18 points when they met a year ago in this competition for Kaya Grabelna. 
not quite the same level of productivity, but it's a very bright start and she is leading the way in terms of Belgian point scorers in this match. And a big stuff block in there as well. Shows that she can bring a bit of deep when it's needed as well. Yuan Xinyue with serve. There's trouble. There two of them going for it. Now, can the Chinese regroup? No, the uh, spike not good enough. And that touch, absolutely perfect from Janssens. Sent it deep, knowing nobody was home in the back court. That's a clean winner. Where's that going to end up? Yeah. Li Ying Ying set up on a plate for it. After she made a bit of a mess of service reception, Ding rescued the situation brilliantly. And Li was able to finish the job. Ding Zha now back to serve. And Herbert's mishandles, gone, punishes her. They're consistently going after Brit Herberts with their serve, the Chinese. Celine Van Gestel checking back in. Well, there is an argument just to get Herberts out of the firing line. Going to recharge the batteries a little bit. So Ding serves, uh, this time it's Van Gestel who makes a meal of it. Grabelna and Van Gestel combine to get it over, but the initiative swings straight back to China and Gong swings into action. And that all came off the dreadful service reception. Jody Guillaume's really didn't have much of a chance here. A full-blooded spike coming straight at her. Ding then stays with serve, and Gestel again, not ideal. What can she do on third touch? The block takes the sting out of it. They'll take it far side. Well, that was too hot to handle from Li Ying Ying. There's some power play hitting going on here from the Chinese. Now the Belgians who've stuck around and made this set competitive are starting to wilt under this barrage now. No wonder Gert van der Broek has had to burn his time out. Ding Zha then will stay on serve. And Gestel, the recipient, and the job finished emphatically. Sobolska driving it deep. Nice reverse set. And Li Ying Ying couldn't get there in a one on one duel at the net. Sobolska enjoyed that. Oh, and a block point. No, it's been denied. Just when you thought the Belgians had picked up a block point, they'll have to wait. Wang keeps that alive. Uh-oh, here comes the pipe attack. Yan Ni, how sickening that for Belgium. They thought they'd won it. But the Chinese, so resilient defensively, kept that one in place somehow. That was a brilliant dig from Zhang. 
Well, that was the block point, surely, but no. What a pickup from Zhang. You could watch that all day. And the Belgians must be thinking, well, what else do we have to do? Here's Li Ying Ying. Ooh, the swing and a almost a complete miss from Sobolska. As it was, the contact wasn't enough to get it over the net. But the point does go to Belgium on the infraction. Van Gestel then will serve. Three points, the deficit. Got a chance here. Wang with the pickup. That's a bit close to the net, yeah. A rare error from Wang Ming Ji. Count those on the fingers of one hand. So Van Gestel will stay on serve. Lee will handle that. And then Yan Ni can't find a winner. Valkenborg's picked that one up, but uh, it's push and hope time for the Belgians, and it's coming back their way. Nice pickup. Van der Viva. And where's that going? Long, wide out from Stramilo. Another good rally, though. Yan Ni. That was much better. Strubilo. Well, she certainly uh, made her presence felt. Waited patiently for her chance, Dominica. Strubilo, totally taking the most of that chance now, but there's nothing any of the Belgians can do about that. All about touch and placement and vision from Gong. There's a big hole there, and all you've got to do is find it. Gong will serve then. Coming back from Van der Viva. So they'll send it the other side. But Belnut can't beat the block either. Where's Van der Viva going to go this time? Send it to Stravilo. Why not? Well, she's been as effective as anybody. With her, but it's pretty much neutralized by the Chinese. Gert van der Broek has had to go elsewhere to find a source of spikes. And at the moment, it's Dominika Stravilo that he's playing as effectively as anybody as an offensive weapon. Two points, the difference. And they get another point here, the uh, Belgians. Wang keeps that one alive. All sorts of options available here, and a swing, and just dropping in there. China will go to the second technical timeout. Three points to the good, but we made to work for this second set. here for China, Zhang Chang Ning. It's her contribution so far. One of our key players to watch. A couple of block points to add to the uh, array of offensive swings.
Tough to get a winner from there. But not hard for Yang Jinyue to get a winner from there. That's her territory. Get her up around the net. Whether it's offensive or defensive, she creates chaos. That ball was still on an upward trajectory when you aren't dispatched it with authority. And China edge a bit further in front. That's good. So much better all round from Belgium. Showed some real commitment. And some real eye-catching work, particularly from uh, Kaya Grabelna. Dominika Strumelo has contributed a lot as well since coming off the bench. Uh, talking to the bench, Manon Stragia comes in, another one of the youngsters. The pinch hit. He's 20 years old, played in this competition a year ago, picked up some good high-class experience. And that serve just wasn't going to bother the Chinese at all. Lee with the finish, fast side. Asking for trouble, that serve. Yuan goes long. Silke van Avermaet checks in. Now, she gave Belgium quite a lift when she came in in the game against the Koreans. Picked up a couple of block points very quickly. And briefly threatened to turn the tide. Now, the tide might be turning again here. The ace serve from the big serving, Marlies Janssens. Zhang lost that at any time. You can force Lang Pink to take a timeout. You must be doing something right. The Belgians fighting really hard here. Well, there's no sense of alarm there from Jenny Lang Ping. But uh, shrewd enough to know that Belgium are just getting a little bit of belief here. To break the rhythm as much as anything. It's such a better effort in this second set. And Janssens can be a handful as a server. There's another zinger. Oh, yes, it's back to back aces from Marlies Yanks and Gong Zhang Yu. Bamboozled that time. Well, Janssen's had four aces in the uh, first round of pool matches against Bulgaria. So this doesn't come as a huge shock to find Janssen's suddenly becoming a real handful from the service line. Is it three? It could be. Might as well be. Absolutely brilliant serving from Marlies Janssen's. What happened to that Chinese lead? It just got wiped out. They need to get her out of here, and fast. Janssen needs to stay there as long as possible. Is there another point coming? Oof, close. Nevertheless, she's got her team right back in it. Talk about an impressive shift. Marlies Janssen goes back to the bench, having given Belgium every chance of getting something out of this second set. Let's see if China can respond with Ding Xia serving. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, ho, ho. Just when you thought they were put under pressure, they respond like that. Ding, looking at Salih Van Gestel, as if to say, you think you've got some good servers? Check us out. And they serve, puts China back in control. Stragia on service reception. Oh, oh the block. Yanni says, no, don't bring it here. 
you think number one's pretty good. Number 17 isn't bad either. Yet another Chinese block point. Yep, that'll do. Heads you lose for China there. Rebelna coming up. And then Van Avermaet finishing the job. Nice skimming serve. And the block is there. No, it's not. They're going to have to go and win it again. Still they can't win it. This will be an extraordinary point if China can win this from here. Van Gestel, no. Kept alive. Gong, blocked. And did it drop on the line? Yes, it did. They had to fight so hard for that point. My goodness me. They had to win it three times. But win it, they did. To stay alive. What a good rally. Tremendous defense from the Chinese but in the end it was the stuff block coming from the Belgians that proved to be the key the combo of Van Avermaet and Grabelna combining Belgium still have hope of getting something out of this set they get the next point they're level again officially that point went to Grabelna and they're all over the place. The Chinese, what a chance here for the Belgians. Oh, and a swing and a miss from Manon Stragie, who just lost that ball in flight. What a shame. It looked for all the world like the pipe attack was going to come along and level this one up. They were struggling. Once Gong had made a meal out of that. And just look at this, the chance was there. They watched that all the way. And what they watched was a ball dropping right into the corner. They were convinced this was going out. And then just look at it. It slammed the brakes on, caught the line. And that is probably a bat as far as this second set is concerned. The ace serve from Li Ying Ying. Nothing doing for Grabelna, and the point goes to China, make that set point. There is a challenge out there. Might as well challenge at this stage. We're looking for a block touch. This looks like another one of those challenges that is more in hope than in expectation. But when your opponent reaches set point, Gert van der Broek is quite right in saying, well, if there's any doubt at all, check it out. Does it touch the arm of Yan Ni? Doesn't look like it. That looks like a bunch of neck cord right there, and it's confirmed. Worth a look, but it is set point China. Ilka van der Viva still wants clarification here. She's certainly not getting it overturned. And that's set point China. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
That's the way you finish a set. Zhang Chang Ning picking off an errant service reception and saying, that'll do it. China had to work hard for that. They had a couple of scares. Belgium showing much greater resilience, much improved all round play. It could have been interesting at one point, but then every time China would challenge, they did find another level. But that was a very competitive second set. It finished China 25-20, but it's so much more competitive than set one. The Belgians may be down, but they're not out yet. China, 2-0 to the good. So that's how the second set unfolded. China, who were gifted the opener, had to dig in and earn the second one. Or is that the uh, limit of the Belgians' push? Or are they going to go on and improve again? We've seen throughout this VNL that they start slow and come on strong. Even yesterday against the Koreans, they improved set on set. If they can find another level in this third set, who knows? But at the back of their minds, I'm sure they're thinking every time we asked a question of the Chinese, they managed to find another gear. Dominika Struvelo is back on court for the Belgians. Top five points. It has been a very impressive outing for her. And if uh, Gerd van der Broek wanted to see what she's got, she's certainly uh, not failed her audition. But can the Belgians take this third set? Janssen's such a good server, opening it up. Oh, that's trouble, but uh, the Chinese, if they pushed it too long, no, they haven't. Yeah, a problem with the set there for the Belgians. Kind of just took all the initiative away. There is going to be a call on this one. It looked like it might have gone long. Did it catch any of the line? They want to have a good look at this. That might be a case, you know. This is going to be a tight call. Just nibbled a bit of the edge of it. Well, you're always going to be punished with an overpass at this level. Oh dear. Li 
serving Stramilo. It's an ace. And what's the betting? The Chinese number 12 looks for the Belgian number 12 again off the back of this one. Oh, went for Van Gestel instead. Stramilo, nice. Pulled the trigger to good effect there, Dominika Stramilo. Van de Viva with the serve. Take it far side and Gong just drops that into space. Just such great vision. Gong Jun Yu. Just analyze the court and say, well, where can't they get this ball? How about right there? Well, the block was working, but it was a big, big swing from Kyle Grobelner. And the block, although it was there, could not keep it in play. They'll take that as a moral victory. Anytime you get the better of a Yuan block, you'll say, yeah, thank you. Stramilo with the flat serve that causes a bit of chaos. And Gestel, nice pancake. And then finished with a big mid-court swing from Li Ying Ying. Great defensive work again from Ding Xia. And that had to be good from that range. It was perfect. Grabelna beat near side. I think they're in double figures with block points now. Zhang will pick up her third for that. Didn't need any help. It was all her own work. Ten block points, China. And Gestel can't get past the back court. What about the cross court from Zhang Chang Ning? Uh, China cruising here in this third set. You just got the sense there might be a letdown from the Belgians. They put so much into that second set. It would be tough to match that level, let alone find another level. And at the moment, they look like they're out of gas. Uh, Grabelna gets the win. She's in double figures again here, Kaya Grabelna. That's her ninth attack point. Van Avermaet. Uh, where's this going to go? Van Gesten. The pipe attack is lethal. Li Ying Ying. Like a guided weapon driving in there. Came in full throttle. No stopping that. And it's China who gets to the first technical timeout. Comfortable. Well, Belgium managed to seize the initiative here. But keep it. No. That's a tougher challenge. Uh, Gong, 10 attack points. Another highly efficient effort from her. Picked up 13 points, top scored for, Thai, uh, for China against Thailand yesterday. One of the many new faces that were brought in after the trip to Brasilia. Indeed, there was only four survivors from the trip to South America. seen any of them on the court in Macau. It's the 10 new faces that uh, Leng Ping brought in 
that have been doing all the damage. Uh, Chinese women's volleyball, so deep, so talent loaded. That's nice. Four touch is confirmed. And I don't think the Chinese are going to argue about it either. Marley's Janssen's doing just enough there. Great effort from Wang. Yeah, Wang just saying, yeah. Couldn't quite get there. One handed set. <laughs> and you aren't Jin Yue with a freebie. Don't think they were expecting this. Great improvisation once again at the setter position from Ding, who's dishing out the goodies so effectively. No surprise there. Yuan Jinyue will continue with serve. Per Yan Ni says. The running attack from Jansen doesn't produce a winner. The cross court from Li Ying Ying does. Again, so well set up. So well executed. You are. Will stay on serve as Britt Herberts comes back in, recharged. But surely this is mission impossible for Belgium from here. Uh oh. Herberts with a swing from the back court. No chance from that. And Yan Ni. Right in the middle, sends it straight down the gut. Now this is just ruthless. The quick set. And as comfortable as you like. The timeout taken probably just to get his players out of the firing line for a moment. They're getting overwhelmed here. You have to feel some sympathy for Belgium, who are still playing as hard as they possibly can. There's no way Gert van der Broek is looking at any of his players and saying, well, I'm seeing people giving up, but they're just mentally bedraggled as much as anything. They put so much into that second set, and when they came up empty there, they just haven't been able to respond here in this third set at all. And it's all fizzling out a little bit. Herberts, with a bit of energy, manages to bamboozle the block. Only her third point of this match. And Herbert's coming into this one, averaging around 17 points per match. That just tells you what a job the Chinese have done on her. Marlies Janssen's not in to serve. And where are we now? All over the place. Well, it just looks like a chasm of class between them. The Chinese, so powerful, so comfortable now. No pressure. Ding. A bit too deep from Gong. A lot too deep from Gong. But the point, nevertheless, goes to China off the touch. Well, Herberts and... Uh, Guillaume's combining there to keep that alive somehow, but where's it going to go now? The cross court is ruthless. Oh, Gong found an angle there. It's a double digit lead off the back of this. You cannot defend that. The block completely neutralized by the angle that Gong found.
Trubolo looking for something. But uh, they can't find anything, can they? Just can't find anything. The technical timeout gives Belgium a little bit of respite. And even Gert van der Broek recognised that uh, the time for words is pretty much over. enjoyed this one and of course a China win was what they wanted and what was certainly expected uh, particularly in that second set the Belgians bared their teeth and made China work for it but boy they suffered a reaction off the back end of that another struggle for Herbert's on service reception the initiative goes over to China and Liu Xiaotong says thank you very much Off the bench, onto the score sheet. Another one of those Olympic gold medalists that Lang Ping can just roll off the conveyor belt. No wonder Ding Jia's happy. In comes Zheng Chunlei as well. Another hugely experienced competitor. Over it goes to Stramilo. No way past Liu. And then Cheng is denied. That's a really good pickup. So too is that from Wang to deny Herbert's really good rally again. The block was there. It did it net anyway. Well, Belgium get that point off the back of a really impressive rally. Yao Di comes in for a bit of setting. So Ding's day is done. Janssen's. Oh, yes. Well. Marlies Janssens is one of those players that you don't really want to see at the uh, service line if you're the other team. That is her fourth ace of this match, which equals what she achieved in the five-set win against Bulgaria. Could be another one there. Yes, there is. Li Ying Ying making a meal out of that. Five aces against China for Marlies Janssens. That's impressive. There won't be a sixth. <laughs> Li Ying Ying saying we've had enough of that. China's double digit lead restored. is coming here there and everywhere at the moment once again they went after Brit Herbert's Li Ying Ying twisting the knife that's her 15th point four have come from serve oh, this is just hit and hope really from Stramilo nothing she could do with that Zheng is denied, far side. Herberts is denied. No, she's not. That was a really good spike. 
picked up in the backcourt, but no control under it. So at least Belgium will avoid the indignity of uh, a single-digit performance in this set. One more point will secure that, and it will surely come. Van der Viva with serve. It should come here. Again, good defensive work. Yao Di, but they've left themselves with too much to do there, China. As uh, Ed Lee enjoys a bit of a workout. One of the few players, along with Zheng, that did make the trip to Brazil last week. Strumilo, has she found the spot? Yes, yeah, she has dropped it deep. Oh, Dominika Strumilo is another player that hasn't exactly uh, disappointed. Drafted in. Well, has had a very good workout. Wonder if she might have done enough to earn a start tomorrow. Strumilo again, touch this time. No beating Yao from there. And Liu punishes it. China moved to within five points of wrapping this one up. And an appearance too for Hugh Ming Wan, the middle blocker. He also made the trip to Brazil, but has yet to be featured in Macau. Well, this is her first appearance. Grabelna, too good. Point number 13 for the Belgian top scorer. Strubelo pushes one. A little bit too deep. Four points from the finishing line here. Zeng serve is a good one. It caused chaos on the other side of the net. It'll be easy put away. Yuan will enjoy that one because that takes her into double figures for this match. Joining Gong and Zhang and Li Yingying, who's top scoring with 16 points. Kaya Grabelna will add another one to her tally. 14 to go with the 18 she got against China a year ago. I don't think she'll be matching that. Unless there is an extraordinary turnaround here in what remains. Silke van Avermaet. The running attack doesn't work for Yuan. Herberts. A frustrating swing and a miss for Britt Herberts, who will not look back on this one with too much personal satisfaction. They've done a really good job of neutralising the dangerous Belgian teenager, China, today. She's not really been able to impose herself on things at all. Well, well, well. <laughs> Foot fault. Yu Tong saying, surely not. And they're going to challenge it. Well, she was certainly surprised at the call. And I think whether it goes for or against, they're not too bothered, are they? Zhu Ting not making an appearance today in the middle there. Just a little cameo yesterday. Lang Ping not rushing the superstar back into action here. Uh, 
Well, we're waiting for the official call. See any contact? Oh, it's close. Oh, they're calling it a fault. They're calling it a fault. Well, I tell you, if this was a close match and that was a five setter, there might be a bit of a rumpus about that. As it is, it's not going to matter. Well, that looked a tough call. We move on with Kaya Grabelna. Once again, good pick up, Lin Lee. And they get the winner off the back of it. The despairing attempt at the pancake from Grabelna in vain. China moved to match point. Lin Lee with yet another winner. So clever. Over the block. Grabelna can't get there. And it's Yuan Jin Yue who will look to wrap this one up on match point. And does with a clean ace as well. It's all over. Belgium finally put out of their misery. China, as expected, have prevailed in this one pretty comfortably. 25-16, 25-20 in a very spicy and competitive second set. But then 25-14 in the third set. So Belgium, who gave away those six points early, well, we talked about Belgium and how they would measure their improvement year on year against China as we look at this ace that ends it a year ago. They got 47 points. Here in Macau, 48 points. Still a long way off the very, very high standard set by the reigning Olympic champions, the world number two, China. Started fast, finished strong, were tested in the middle were found able to withstand that test and in the end come away as expected with a three-set victory over a Belgian side that uh, subsided to defeat against Korea but put in a big effort in vain against the Chinese they will look to get on the board in Macau against Thailand tomorrow as for China next stop for them Korea A Chinese side that clearly means business in Macau and is delivering. Six sets won, none lost. This is how they did it. <laughs> 